Ah, oh, shit, I fell. Oh no, what the hell? Oh, he's Got him. Eat my shorts. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh, he got me. No. I might get up and stretch after this game, probably. Oh, we had to go. We had to go, and we had to be fast and furious, baby. Yeah, that, that trailer. That Fast and Furious trailer was nuts. And I mean nuts. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I was like watching it. And I, I would call myself somewhat I mean, Fast and Furious fan. <laughs> like, I've rolled with it. However, like, chaotic and like hilarious it has gotten. And they definitely know that they're like <laughs> movies are just crazy but I mean this trailer I mean this trailer is just nuts I mean John Cena coming in the scene now I, I forgot John Cena was even in the gonna be in the movie oh they're battling I forgot John Cena was gonna be in the movie and until I saw the trailer and I was like oh yeah he got cast for the movie He's probably going to take, like, The Rock's place. At least what I thought, but no. Like, he's actually going to be the villain. And when they... Oh, shit, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. There they come. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. This is not good at all. We're dead. He's down. Hey. Oh no. <laughs> Someone save me. He's a bumblebee. But yeah, but they, when they revealed in the trailer that um John Cena was <laughs> uh is Vin Diesel's brother, is Dom's brother. I was like, I was cracking up. I was like, really? Like these two don't even look alike. Like, they made, I think they made John Cena a little more tan in the, like, they made him a little more tan in the movie. But they still don't really look alike. I mean, are we supposed to believe that he and, um, Jordan Brewster, I forgot her name. Uh, she's in the movie too still with, even with, um, Brian not being there. Paul Walker. But are we supposed to believe him and Brewster and Jordan Brewster and, um, John and John Cena, I think his name is Jer Jacob in the movie, but they're all siblings, like for real. Like, I was kind of like baffled. I mean, I would believe The Rock and Vin Diesel could be brothers, but John Cena and Vin Diesel? No, I don't know. I mean, yeah, this is like, like I was kind of I was baffled. And then like the trailers, it, it's just a bunch of like craziness going on. Uh, like there's like a, you know, the one thing interesting thing I saw in the trailer was I didn't catch it the first time, but when Tyrese is riding that rocket DeLorean car, like right before it, you see um, what's his name? Tokyo Drift. I forgot it. The, I forgot his name. The actor's name is Lucas Black. I forgot that character's name. Really, I don't really care. But Lucas Black is in the movie, and he's you you catch a glimpse of him. When he's talking to that other guy, the, like the Asian guy he was talking to in when he was like, like talking about that car. So, yeah, but that was, that was an interesting tidbit in the movie. But, um, yeah, the whole trailer is like a bunch of craziness. And then you get to the part near the end where you have Dom and Letty in the car. Oh, no, you first see John Cena's car goes off a cliff. And then Charlize Theron in a jet with a magnet, <laughs> with a magnet, just pulls him, like, pulls the car up and attaches it to the plane, to, like, the jet, whatever that was. It's like a stealth jet or something like that. 
And then the jet just came out of nowhere with like no sound. You couldn't like they can't hear it. <laughs> that was just like the crazy thing. That like the, yeah, that was crazy. But then the craziest thing happened where um you have Dom and Letty in that car and somehow they attach their car to like a to like a, I don't, a vine that's on that rope bridge or something like that. And then like the car like goes Tarzaning across like that cliff, that canyon, to like another, to like a an- I don't know where it's going. <laughs> That's like the mystery. That's where we have to like when we watch the movie. We have to find out to the other, to the other part of the cliff. I guess I don't know. Hey guy. Yeah, I'm dead. I didn't know where to go. I didn't like. I have nowhere to go in this like salty. But yeah, but how's it gonna? Is, is like the car gonna? They want the car to go to catch the plane that um, Charlize Theron is piloting or whatever. <laughs> like I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I, was, I didn't know what's going on. I don't know, but it, that's just crazy. I'm like, whoa, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like, what else can you say about the Fast and Furious movies? I mean, I feel like you just can't criticize them. Like the producers, they know what these movies are. And they're like, they're going ball like all out for these movies, balls deep. So it's kind of like, it's absolutely, it's just nuts how this movie is. But then, yeah, but then we come to the end. The end of the trailer where we see the reveal of Han. As I'm just watching these guys. But Han is back. They didn't wait to reveal it in the movie. They revealed it in the first trailer. (laughs) Which is kind of stupid. I think... Yeah, I think this reveal would have been so good in the movie. But I don't know. Maybe it would have leaked out. Maybe it would have leaked out that Sun King was on set, of course. And people would have knew about it. So maybe they wanted to be ahead of, ahead of the leaks, maybe. Possible leaks. Whatever you want to say. But, yeah. That's just the big part of the trailer. Because, they, of course, it reads, like, Justice is coming. Justice for Han. Because... Yeah, they had the problem where they made Jason Statham a hero in these movies. Because he has his own movie, <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw, which I, I which I ended up seeing. It was like, it was, I, I didn't really care about that much, but whatever. But yeah, but they had to like, I guess they had to like, give a reason that they made Jason Statham such a hero in these movies. <laughs> because he literally, like, Okay, in that scene, of course, in Tokyo Drift, he's like, Jason Statham's not actually in the movie, of course, but in the after credit scene of Fast and Furious 6, I think, that, like, of course, he, where he blew up um, Han's car, of course, where, where Han was, like, tipped over. He was upside down in that car, and there was, like, no way he can get out of that, but they're going to explain it somehow, I think. Yeah, you're dead. Sorry, dude. Uh, but Han being back in the Fast and Furious franchise, I think is is pretty cool. I like the character. I like that he came wa- strolling in, <laughs> just eating chips like he did in the past few movies, Fast Five, Fast Six. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool to see him. I like the I like the actor. I like the character. I mean, they can bring Gal Gadot back now, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I mean, that'd be that'd be kind of dope, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if they would. I mean, they gotta explain it well, though. I mean, he looked like he's pretty dead, but they probably will come out, come to an explanation. They'll have like an like an add-on scene, maybe to that, to like when Jason Statham was like blowing up, <laughs> like blew up his car. Like maybe he just didn't have the the guts to kill Han and blow up his car with him inside it. So like maybe. Maybe he let him run away, but wouldn't Han contact and get back with the with the rest of the group? <laughs> or maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe um, Statham told him like like I'm gonna like act like I killed you or something like that. So you got to stay quiet or something like that. I don't know. But then he started killing the rest of the tr- or he started going after the rest of the group. So. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to explain it. You know, I just hope they... Maybe they don't explain it. Maybe that's what I hope for. I just hope 
like someone asks him, like Dom asks him, wait, how are you alive? I mean, he didn't see it happen, of course, so I don't know. Like, I don't know what he would believe. But it's like, oh shit, no. Oh, you son of a... Yeah, you know. Oh no, I'm getting shot now. Come on. Oh, he got me. But yeah, uh, but I kind of hope they just don't explain it because I think that would be <laughs> that would be funny. Like someone asks him, maybe Dom asks him, like, "How are you alive? I thought you were dead." And he was like, "Han." I hope that Han's about to explain it, and he, like someone says, like, Lady says, like, like we don't have time to talk. We have to, we have to go. We have to get, get going, and then that ends it. I guess I don't know. But yeah, overall, Fast and Furious Nine looks pretty crazy. I would definitely see it, no matter how hilarious I think the trailers are. I'll probably enjoy it. Hey, I always enjoy the movies, even though they're just balls to the wall crazy. So. Yeah, that's just my thoughts with the Fast and Furious 9 trailer. What's yours? Tell me down in the comments section. And yeah, all oh, this trailer duck. We'll see you later, I guess.